marketplace. Hey everybody, Mike Johnson, PW Insider TV, and look who we found. It's our old friend, the cosmic correspondent, Paul That's London. Right. That's where, right. Where have you been, sir? We haven't heard from you in a while. My, uh, my ship had a crash landing in Europe. And uh, so, you know... You were over there for a few months, right? I was, yeah. Their, their, mechan their space mechanics aren't as well-equipped as they are in Texas. And so um, I had to get a new ship, and uh, it's put together with duct tape, so it's very indirific. Much like the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> yeah. doesn't go nearly as fast. It isn't nearly as sexy or cool, but... Uh, yeah, you know, I've been found way around, and now I'm back uh, here in, in YC at this casino that nobody knew existed. Yeah, it's, isn't it crazy? Cool. It's been here for years. And it is. It's, it's like misleading. it's hidden away. It says the word resort on it too, which I instantly think means they Yeah, have I think rooms. that's a work. No there's, no, there's no hotel here. No rooms no at the resort. Yeah, yeah, don't be fooled. I don't even know if they have a gym. We'll see. So let me ask an uh, a question you probably don't get asked a lot. You went on tour for a couple of months to Europe. What is that like kind of putting your entire life on hold? Here in the States, yeah, obviously you have a place to live, you have property, you have pets, you have family, you have friends, and then you go, I'm going to go I'm gonna go be a wrestler for a few months and live the gypsy lifestyle. What's it like kind of setting everything and putting putting your entire life on pause for the business? Well, um, it's lonely, I'll tell you that. Uh, I don't have any of that stuff that you mentioned. I don't have property. The only thing I really own, uh, which I'm not, I don't even own, I lease a car. Um... All of my animals have been dispersed throughout the world. Um, my family probably hopes I do more shows and they can get rid of me. But no, I don't. You know, I don't really have too many attachments, and I think that's why when the presentation comes to look for some detachment, it's a little easier because then that way, you know, I still miss people, I miss my loved ones, and the people that I spend most of my time with. Um, but, you know, this is what I wanted. This is the journey that I sought after. And so, you know, there's more than I thought could be involved. I mean, biting off more than you can chew is kind of a, an overused statement. But uh, I like the fact that I get to learn about other people and their cultures and see how the other side of the world lives. And um, it's neat. It's neat for me, you know. So whether it's sitting on a couch or under a sink or in a car... Um, as you said, it's part of the gypsy lifestyle, so I just try and enjoy it as much as I can. So at this show tonight, you're going to be wrestling uh, the former Evan Bourne, Matt Seidel. You've never wrestled before. You don't have a lot of first left in wrestling, probably. So what's it like when you go in and you've got a first again? Um, I'm not going to lie, I mean, it's pretty nerve-wracking. I, uh, I highly respect Matt. I think he's one of the most amazing guys you know, on the circuit. Uh, Definitely more athletic than I am, as I've gotten long in the tooth. But uh, really, master of the master of the drop salt. Well, I got a few tricks up my sleeve, but my sleeves keep getting cut. You know, so they're more easily exposed. No, I, you know, the pressure's there, but I think that's mostly just the pressure that I would put on myself um, for thinking, you know, what would I pay to see? And it's tough, you know, because my expectations are through the roof for what I place on myself, and so sometimes I can make myself sick. Uh, just with nerves. Do you, do you still get to that point? Like, oh, I, can, yeah. I can understand, like, young Paul London training with Rudy Boy Gonzalez and breaking into Ring of Honor gets those nerves of the first, the yeah, first but, WWF TV yeah. taping. But even, like, today, after everything you've been through and all that world experience? Yeah. Because um, people don't expect me to suck as bad now. <laughs> <laughs> like, back at Ring of Honor, uh, when I was first starting there, you know, you're so self-conscious and you're... You're always really concerned with what, how you're received, obviously, because you're hoping to continue working. And so you'll see anything negative can just destroy you if you're not careful. And uh, so it's never a matter of like, oh, this guy is the greatest, blah, blah, blah. I make very clear never to make that claim. I'm uh, highly above average, but uh, and I've got a few polishings that I can show off from here and there. But I... Yeah, I think the expectations are different, the pressure is different, um, the match structure is different. Everything's different. You know, I'm I'm more aged, so you know I have different injuries to contend with. I'm sure Matt does as well. Um, but that doesn't mean that the expectations aren't there. And as long as the expectations are there, I'll definitely find a way to 
15. Think my way into getting nervously sick. I don't, it's just what I. It's, it's how I work, I guess. <laughs> I, you know, you mentioned uh, the Ring of Honor stuff earlier, and you really were one of the first real, true in-house standouts that were like sure. a homemade. You know, crowd just loved you, baby face. Yeah. When you look back on that era and the Please Don't Die and the Michael Shane stuff and. Samoa Joe and Brian Danielson in the 47 minute match that I still say is one of the best Ring of Honor matches of all time uh, uh, and I'm not saying I, I've written that many times so I'm not saying next to standing here and even like the ECWA Super 8 tournament and winning all that sure. that was like a really emotional roller coaster time for you personally as well as like amazing stuff for you in the ring Definitely. when you look back on it now with older eyes how do you know how do you reflect on it and what does it mean to you um, you know, I'm really pleased with the way most things have turned out. I mean, I've done more than I ever sought out to do. Um, it wasn't like I had this list of accomplishments. Like, I gotta do this. I wanna win the ACW Super 8 tournament. I gotta do that. Um, these things just came off of being persistent and hungry and having a tenacity to... Yeah, that comes with obsession. You know? Obs being obsessed with this is... Like, I wanna just stuff myself with as much of this as I can, even if it makes me sick to my stomach. I just want to fill my life with as much of these experiences as possible. And so, um, to look back on it, you know, I'm, I'm really, again, it's kind of cliche, but I'm really fortunate because it has been an amazing roller coaster ride. And, you know, I feel oftentimes now that, you know, that ride can come to an end anytime. I mean, it's pretty, uh, you know, the exhilaration's different, the preparation's different, everything's very different. Um, but I take a lot of pride in things that I've accomplished. Um, like I said, there's more than I ever set out to do. And so, special moments, like the Please Don't Die thing is actually a really special thing for me. Um, anytime anyone comes up to me and says, hey, I used to watch you when I was six. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's weird. It makes you just feel old. Makes you feel old? Oh, like a dog. But uh, it's flattering. I mean, I'm very happy that anyone paid attention, much less you know, they liked what I've done. So right. that's uh, it's extremely flattering. And Two last questions. Yeah. What's the update on Hero of the Prophecy? That video that everybody yeah. loved. We have one in the oven. Like uh, an episode? Yeah, every time it's already shot and everything. It's just in the in the chopping phases and so how is it gonna be released? YouTube? I would imagine either YouTube unless we uh, create another platform, but right now YouTube because it's still it's still very much in a pitch phase. It's just that what we have a uh, shot that hasn't been released yet is um, very specific. Whereas what was out there originally with Hear the Prophecy was very broad in the sense of like, this is our idea. And here's the universe that he's going to yeah, live in. Yeah, and now this is like, this is a scene, episode, kind of. Uh, and we've got two very familiar faces popping up in it. Uh, From wrestling or outside yes. of wrestling? Yes. Okay. Because that's the whole platform idea is, is we can take... Stars, forgotten stars of the 80s, maybe early 90s, as far as acting goes, and infuse wrestling stars uh, to play other characters. Today. Oh, yeah, I mean, professional wrestlers are genetically bred for this genre, you know. I would agree. They just are. And so, um, you know, I, uh, I'm looking at one now, but I, I'm looking at both now, but I won't reveal it. Oh. All right. But, uh, but, yeah, be very excited. There's some stuff on the way, and we have. Uh, Plenty of sleeves with plenty of tricks up them. Awesome. And now, uh, we'll ask you a question nobody ever asks you. When are you coming back on PW Insider Audio? PW Insider Audio, anytime. I know I say that, but you've got my number now. Yeah. And, uh, What's so it like having like 15 down. cell phone numbers in the course of a year? It's weird. I, have, I usually have two cell phones at a time. One's an emergency phone for my family. Uh, and the other one's my phone that I use for all my bookings and internet. And like da 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 um, but it's it's weird, it's nerve wracking, especially when I leave because I always come back and have to redo my phone number, and uh, I get these like inmate phone plans you know what I mean? <laughs> where it just changes constantly, and everyone's like, "You change your number? We're not friends anymore." I'm like, ah, oh, I forgot. Sorry. There you go. So, well, just spaced out. Man. Well, I thank you for sitting down, sitting down, and talking to us for a couple of minutes. We wish my you uh, I'm nothing but the best and yeah. all, all the all the health in the world. And it's nice to see you. Yeah. Likewise, I won't be. Uh, I'll try not to be so scarce. All right. Well, on, so. Any final words for everybody? Um, no, nah, just if, uh, if you're not uh, on board with Twitter and my page, and check it out at, at London Foo. That's usually where I do all my updates. I'm not on Facebook, so don't be fooled uh, or tricked. The Facebook pages are all malarkey. 
All right. Twitter, at London Food. That's about it. All right. <laughs> so next time you're at PW Insider TV, thank you, everybody. Pleasure. Paul, thank you. Thanks, guys.